Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Tunic tonight. <clears throat> Last time, we got pretty much all the combat done. We, we, we beat what is presumably the big bad at the end, but it, uh, it turns out that was the bad ending. So uh, <laughs> we have to figure out what the not bad ending is. Um, and we've taken to probably thinking that it has something to do with this Golden Path thing. Uh, which is this big-ass bingo card of squares and shit. So, we're gonna start with this tonight. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Good to see you. We're gonna start with this tonight. We already kind of worked through all of it last time, but we're gonna go through it again. Uh, try to burn our best thinking right at the beginning of the stream here and, and try to see if we went awry or something went astray. Um, so, let's see. Uh, I think we're pretty much right in, in saying that these are rel related to page numbers. So we start and we go up to 12, right? So let's start there. Um, so up to 12. Like the only standout really here is the gold square, right? So if we come up from 12, it uh, angles off to the left there, yeah? Um, like the only kind of... Like, I'm kind of a little bit hesitant on this first one, because there's more to this gold square than that than just that little tiny, like, upper right corner, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna examine this page a little bit more and see if there's, like, another standout golden path thing. And it doesn't seem like there is, right? So then the que- oops. So then the question is gonna be, like, do we follow this all the way around? Like, go up. And then left, then down, and then right, and then up. Because if that's the case, then that doesn't lead to whatever number it was to the left. That leads to, uh, that leads to nine. Um, but the problem with that is, like, if we look at page nine, I don't think there's anything Golden Path related on page nine. Like, there doesn't seem to be a, a like, a clear, a clearly delineated path on here. <clears throat> Which is fine. Which is fine. It could very well be that page nine isn't involved at all. Like I'd be, okay. I'd be cool with that. Um, but it seems like like the only gold stuff here is like, oh hey, here's the thing. What the, what the here's, here's what the money is or whatever. Here's how much money you have, and this here's some question marks. Good luck. And then there's some you know, vaguely gold colored other callouts here in a language we don't understand yet. There's this thing here, which is like, what the fuck is going on with this right? What's this screen here? And it's like, all right, well, probably nothing to do with data management, let's be honest. And it really seems like, uh, let's see here. Like, there's nothing on page seven or eight. Uh, there's definitely something on page six, because look at that very obvious gold, gold patch shit up there, right? Um, uh, five seems clear. Uh, four had the really fucking hidden one down there, right? So, all right, so let's, let's assume we're not going up from, from square 12. And we're indeed headed to the left, which goes to page 16. So page 16 has a pretty obvious little background mark here coming in from the right, which goes... It doesn't go off the bottom because there's no little yellow thing there. But that heads on off to the left. So we go left to 16, and then left to 34. Make sure we write all of this down because it very well is important. Um, and I'm also going to write this out in one string, so if we need to key this in later, we'll be able to. So left to 34 then. Do -do 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 okay, and then this very, very clearly has a golden path thing on it, right? Look at that shit. Look at that shit right there from the right. It goes down. Alright, so up off the top of page 34, which takes us to 46. Naturally, that's the pretty much the only way it could go. So up to 46, a couple pages back here, and look at that, very clear gold path in the center there, yada yada yada, something something, share your wisdom, use the power, okay, so here's where it mentions golden path again too, right? Use the power of the holy cross and traverse the golden path, Share your wisdom, presumably referring to this manual, right? And the trouble is, we're missing the front cover. And page... well, no, page two is there. We're missing the front cover in page one. 
And I believe we're also missing the back cover in page 50-some, whatever, right? 54, 55, and back cover. So, uh, or 54 and back cover, rather. Um, presuming that page 54 would be the final page. And if that's the case, then we know we can, we can ignore the center square. We can ignore 55. So, all right, so we go up to 46, right? And then this one leads uh, up, right, up, left, up, right. So that leads off to the right. To, oops, too far. Uh, to 28. Uh, right to 28. Up, left, left, up, right. So far. Fight with my autocomplete for the entirety of the night, pretty much. That goes over to 28. Um, okay. Right into 28. Uh, actually, wait, did I write that down correctly? Hold on a sec, let me double check. I'm already losing track of shit. Yes, right into 28. Okay. And the very clear golden path here, oops, is right there. Let's see if there's another one we could maybe confuse it for. Doesn't look like it. So right down, right up, left up. So up off of 28 to 22. And then, all right. And this was the this was the one we like first got hung up on last time, right? Because everything's all kind of weirdly color shifted and shit, and it's not extremely clear that this is gold, but you know it's it's close enough, right? So up left, up right, up up left, and then kind of follow it off to the left there. So that tracks. That tracks a lot, in fact. Um, and we got hung up on it later because we thought something else flowed into 22 here, and it does not, we think. Um, so if we just follow this all the way around, then it goes left off of 22, right? So we come in from the bottom, right? Okay. So ba 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 Left off of 22 would lead us to 15. Okay, so on to 15, uh, and then this has a very clear, oh hey, an entrance from the right here, alright, so we're left, down, down, left, up, right, up, which goes up off of 15, into 27, um, in, in fact, and so we don't need to keep flipping back to 49 here. I am going to um, take a quick screenshot of this so that I can always refer back to it. Then I'll just call it out as we proceed. <clears throat> hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. We are not golden just yet. We are retracing the entirety of this bingo card here to make sure we didn't miss something. Um, since the first time we did it, we were late in the night, end of stream, we were already tired and, and, and beat up and all that sort of shit. So we're doing it right away again at the start to make sure. So, all right, so we just went up to 27 here. <clears throat> uh, which has this very clear path here. This was a, this was a bit fudgy last time too, because it's like, oh yeah, it goes up, but it also goes left and right. And we actually went to that spot in the world, and that, that path just led straight up. So we're going to keep going with that. So that goes up from 27 into, looks like, 48. <laughs> Pretty much swapping back to Bingo Square already. All right, which has also a very clear golden path there. Hey, look at that. Um, the, incidentally, the, oops, oh, oh. Incidentally, this, this little set of commands here is quite helpful, and we'll get to that later. Uh, up, left, up, right, down, right. So that goes right off of 48 to something else. Uh, let me go, let's see, left, up, up, right. Make sure that's good. 
and that goes into 11. Uh, do, 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 11, which also has a very clear path here. So right, down, right, up, right, down. Um, let's double check that there's not any additional stuff on here that might change our path. Doesn't look like it. All right, so that's down out of 11 into 21. Um, which this is also one that threw us last time as well, because uh, this was before we figured out we could zoom in on pages. Um, so clearly it's this here, like, big-ass golden square, hey, look at that shit. Um, let's just make sure that that's the only thing here, though. Okay, pretty much. Um, because as it turns out, this little bottom right white dot here doesn't lead off to the bottom. Now, we come in from the north, left, down, right, and then we go off to the right on 21, from, tw from 21 on to 4, okay, to page 4, and I think this is one of the ones that had kind of a dual thing to it, right? Yeah, and then this one was pretty, well, not easy to spot necessarily, but it's easy to know what to look for since it's pretty pretty drably colored page. So it's like, ah, da, 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 oh, look out, da, 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 terrible power, yada, 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 whatever. And the world is ruinous and whatever, so here's the golden path here, right? But this one's kind of split, too. So it's like, well, do we follow it all the way to the right, or do we just go up and, and see if we kind of double back on ourselves? And I think we decided last time to go up, because that goes to page two. And then there's a very clear pathing here right? That just leads it right back down. So from page four, we go up to two, and then from page two, we go down to back down to four. And then page four leads off to then the right, which goes to 50. which this is one of the least visually accessible bits of this whole thing, right? Again, well, I think at this point we figured out how to zoom in, so... But it was like, oh, yeah, this is another one where it's kind of like, well, splits off up to the top, and then there's another entrance on the right, so whatever. Uh, so we go blah, 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 up off the top of 50. which goes to page six. I'm gonna take this down to the bottom here so we don't need to keep scrolling for it. Which goes to page six. And six has the very clear entrance on the bottom here, up, right, down, right. So leads off of, well, actually, let's examine this a bit more closely. <clears throat> Uh, no, I guess that seems correct, huh? All the rest is pretty, you know, basic bitch, primary colors, RGB type shit. Uh, so da, 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 da. so where are we coming from, actually? Up to page six. All right, so up, right, down, right. So right off of page six. Which leads us to, uh, 52. Oh, I forgot to... Actually, U, D, missed an R in there, I think. U, D, R, U, R. Okay, that tracks, so right to 52. Which has the clear bits here. This little strip there, so right, up, right, down, left, right down. So that leads off the bottom. There's also another little extra... 
like another little extra bit on the top here, which makes me a little bit suspicious. But that might not just be anything. So, all right, so down from 52 uh, leads us to 42. Down to 42. And 42, again, is less clear, but you just kind of put your eyes out of focus and you see uh, yellow and or gold in the back. So down left, and that does not curve around right away. So down left off of 42 uh, leads back to 50. Which... 50 has an entrance on there. Yep, this is one of the split ones, so we're good there. Very, very, very faint. Um, and this is interesting in so much as... Like, technically, there's two right-hand entrances on this one, but they both... Like, no matter which way you follow this, it just leads back off to the right. So, no biggie there. No biggie there at all. So let's go ahead and do... Uh, that goes right off to, back to 42, yeah. Which now, coming in from the left, left, right, down, so that goes down to, uh, 33. And this one was kind of less obvious, but, you know, Golden Sun, etc. Uh, nothing else really stand out there. This one also has that extra little, little bit there on it, which makes me go, hmm. <laughs> Although, now, now I'm starting to think back a little bit. So let's record this one and let's put a pin in this for a second while we examine a few other things. So this is, um, actually, what is this? This is down to 33, right? So down, right, down, left, into, uh, uh, 31. So let's put a pin in this here. This little extra jag in the center of the mountain there makes me think that we will need each individual segment as part of our little entry bit. And what makes me think that is one of these other illustrations. No, well, maybe not. This is the one I was thinking of, but maybe not that one in particular. Uh, it makes me think it splits up the path. It's like, hey, there was one, there was one movement on the approach to this thing. But now there's another one. You have to make another little input here. So, uh, let's kind of look at a few more of these as we're, as we're kind of thinking about this, right? Because then, this, would, this one would probably introduce another one here, right? And if we look at, now that one's all clear. Uh, that one's all clear. This one also might be that, because it's got the little jag in the middle there of the slightly lighter gold. <laughs> um, this one's fine, more or less smooth. Uh, it's because it's all a bunch of angles and shit. That one's fine. Uh, this one didn't have any on it, neither did that one. I don't remember if that one had anything to do with it. I don't think that one had it. Uh, this one might also have been fine. Yeah, it's just angles and shit. Uh, this one is kind of what makes me think about it, too. There's that little jag in the mountain. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Was there one on this page? Was there a 32? There was not a 32. Okay, so we're cool there. Uh, this one was fine because that's the square there. Uh, 30 didn't have anything on it. 29 was no. Uh, 28 was no, and then this was, this is like the big, most obvious one, right? This one here. 
So here, yeah, it's, it's, it's this dominant path is south to north or whatever, but look at those two little jags on the side there. Like, what? That's got to mean something, right? They just wouldn't put it there for no reason, right? So that's what I'm thinking. We're probably going to have to go through this a third time and figure out all these little twists and turns and be like, hey, all right, this is going to be like a fucking 100 input code here, but it just might be the thing that we need to do. While we're already halfway through the manual doing this, uh, 26 was not a thing. I don't think 25 was a thing either. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, 24 was not. 23. Also no. 22. And this is going to be a fun one here. This is an early one. So like up left, right, whatever. Up right, fine. Is this two ups? And then is this two lefts? My guess is yes. Like, uh, the, if we're operating under the assumption that the little tick marks, you know, separate the, the input codes or whatever, it very well might be two ups and two lefts. But, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, we'll get to it when we get to it. Uh, this one should be pretty clear. It's not, not really divided, I guess. Like, these are just straight on whatevers. Um, 20 had nothing. 19 had nothing. 18, I believe, was just... Was 18 involved here? 18 was involved. Oh, right, but it's not the top. But here, this one's got another little jag on it. See, look at that, look at that kind of crosshatch between the 300 and the question marks down below and then the 100 and the 300 up above. Like, that's got to mean something, right? That's pretty fucking bold. So, there might be something to this. Um, so that one's clear there. Uh, there was nothing on 17. And 16 kind of calls it out a bit, because it's just like, it does a whole bunch of twists and turns here. Like, from the right, sure. Uh, then you got left, down, left, up, left. And we're assuming that these blocks or whatever aren't hiding any additional twists, right? That would be kind of... Mm. Same thing on 15. Uh, 14 was kind of nothing. 13 was also nothing. And then I guess 12 kind of does it as well, right? Except this one just starts the whole jam. And it's really, okay, and it really doesn't do that. So this one was clean and clear and smooth. Nothing on 10. Nothing on 9. 8, 7. Uh, 6 was smooth. Uh, four had this the whole split thing going on, so whatever. Uh, and then we're and then here's another pretty fucking bold. Hey, this is considered two segments, you idiot. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I think then we're gonna abandon this processing of it since it's shaping up to be the same as last time, and then start doing this new one. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so that's all right. This is why we're doing this the very first shot out the gate tonight, because I knew this was going to be a right bitch making us do thinks and, and solve puzzles and shit. All right, so we start from the bottom at 12, right? So this is up and left. I'm actually just going to nuke this whole section because uh, this, this is now two, take two and a half pretty much. And we're going to record it pretty much the same, um, except we're going to go 12, uh, that's an up, and a left. And we're going to do it here, up, left. And then that leads off to the left. Yeah, that leads off to the left. That goes to 16. Which, honestly, this might make writing this down a little bit easier. We're working on maybe more consistent rules. Um, that leads off to, or enters on the right of 16, right? But then we're going left, we're going down, left, up, left. Oh boy. In fact, I'm just gonna segment it there so we can refer back to it. And that goes left off into 34. 
Okay. Uh, okay, this one's clean. This one's clean as well. So that goes left, starting from the right on 34, which is going to be left, down, left, up, right, up. Which leads us to 46. This one's smooth. So that's an up, right, up, left, up, right. So like we're already up to, what is that? 6, 12, 17, nearly 20, 20 bits to this code and we're only four squares in. That makes me go, hmm. <laughs> makes me think that this is way more effort than it's gonna be worth, but hey, it's too, it's too late. It's fucking too late. We're, we're invested in this. Uh, so that goes what? Right? Right. Right into 28. Like, this better be a fucking doomsday weapon. Like, we better get something that combines all of our weapons into one or something, you know? Uh, 28. Twenty-eight. We are coming in from the right, or from the left, rather. <laughs> the ultimate fighting game move, right? And I don't even like fighting games. That's why I stay away from traditional fighters like that, because I hate the fucking button combos and shit. And it's like, oh, well, it's quarter circle up, the yeah, infinity symbol, A, B, X, low kick. Like, what the fuck, man? I just want to punch a dude. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry, we're getting off track. We're coming in from the left. Uh, so it's going to be a right, down, right, up. Get a little jag to the left there, right? So, left up. And then that goes up into 22. Ah, yes, 22. Our friend, page 22. So this one's kind of bitchy on its own, right? We're going to make the assumption that each of these, like this gap in between these two, counts as another thing to, to do the thing, right? So that's going to be a fun little starting from the bottom. Uh, up, left, up, right, up, up, left, left. Oh, God. See, look, that's eight inputs for one F and square. Like, it's fucking better be worth it. If this is some, like, dumb bullshit, like, hey, he congrats, here's like 200 monies or whatever, I'm going to be like, dude, seriously. <laughs> All right, that goes left off into 15. All right, this one's another pretty clean one. That's going to be uh, left down, left up, right up. Right, to copy these up to our normal sequence here. Although, let's see. We'll see how many like little segments of inputs this ends up being. I think it's going to be 23 because we used... And there might be an actual, like an, an, an initial up from the from the start of it. So I'm going to make sure we, we put the ending one in there as well. Just in case. Oops, not there though. Right down is the finish. Uh, okay, so that's L-D-L-U-R-U. -L okay, that leads up into 27. Yeah, yeah, here's here's like the first little well, not the first jag, but like the most obvious one early on, right? So that's that's a double up. And I can appreciate that 27 is a nice short code for us. And then that leads up into 48. And this one's nice and easy, nice and simple, nothing to question here, right? That's an up, left, up, right, down, right? We managed to at least get this code kind of written out long form. We'll be using this particular bit of it a lot, I have a feeling. Because um, we discovered some things last time that are very interesting. Okay, uh, so that leads right into 11. A 
11. Correct. Okay, that one's pretty easy. Right, down, right, up, right, down. And then that leads down into 21. Which this one's a little bit fudgy, but there's not really a, a clear thing that says, hey, these are segmented, idiot. Uh, good luck. Um, so we're going to presume that this one is just the straight up four code thing they got going on here. So that's down, left, down, right. Good old dilder. And that goes right into four. I think four was one of the turnaround ones, yeah. Yeah, four was one of the faint turnaround ones. So that's uh, that's coming in from the left. That's going to be a right and up. Uh, I don't have my tab stop set on these. Boo! Guess what we're doing. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's going to be right up into two, which I believe was one of the ones that had one of the weird segment things going on, right? Yeah. So this one goes up, right, right, down, into four, which we're pretty sure is um, down, right. We'll double check just to be sure. It's right up, up, right, right, down, and down, right. And then that leads uh, right into 50. Let's double check on this while we're nearby. Yep, down, right, into 50. And now this one's a bit fudgy as well, like, does this little grouping, or does this little little bit of spittle in the middle of it, does that does that constitute a segment, a segment break here? Because my heart says yes, but my mind screams no. It might be good just to write them both down to be sure. Um, we're coming in from the left, so that's going to be a right, up, possibly another up. It, I, I said right and I wrote down left. Good job, idiot. Uh, right, up, possibly another up, and I think that's it, right? Yeah, because that leads up off the top. Either way, we're going up, which is fine. Uh, so we are... We'll kind of have that little question mark on it. <laughs> I don't know what my body says just yet. The body is merely a conduit of the heart and mind, so fuck what the body thinks, right? Actually, that's not true. My body tells me stuff all the time, and I usually should listen to it. Uh, Alright, so that goes up into six. Again, I don't know why I put this at the top rather than the bottom. That goes to six. Um... There. That one's nice and clean, at least. Up into six. And that's up, right, down, right. Birder. Leads right into 52. Which has another little jag on it, right? So from the left, then we're going right, up, right, right, down, left, down. And the fact that it's kind of asymmetrical here, it's got the little jag on the top bit and not on the right bit, makes me think we're on the right track. Correct track. I suppose I should use correct and incorrect rather than right, <laughs> because right can be confused with right, the direction. Which we should probably not confuse ourselves whilst we are 
fucking, how many is this? 5, 10, 15, 16 squares, 17 squares deep into this thing. So that goes down from 52 into 42. And this one's pretty clearly just kind of straight out. This is another turnaround one. So that's a down and a left. Which goes over to 50. Oh, is this the other? 50 is the mountain door one, right? Okay. And I think this particular segment of it does not have the little jag in between. So this is just a straight up uh, left. Oh, but now here's the issue. Since we're dealing with this right hand extremely faint path, is our second input here up or down? But consider, let's see, what page are we coming from? Uh, 42. Here's how we're going to determine this. We're using the top bit of this one, right? So I would, it seems like we would start at the top bit on 50. So we're going to go with that and go left, down, right. It seems like they gave us a way to suss that out. So uh, that goes back to 42, which itself is going to be a right and a down into 33. Double check on our way through. Yep, right down into 33. And here's another one with a little jag in it, which is fine. Whatever, we'll make it work. Um, but we're doing down, right, down. Left, left. Oh, I miss. Right down, down, right down, left, left. Okay. And that goes into 31. Which this one's pretty easy to, to, to take care of. going to be a left down, right down. Jeez. I haven't been keeping a running total of this input code here, but that looks to be like two lines too long. But whatever. Uh, so that goes down into 40. Which this one was the weird coffee slash tea stain one. But that appears to be mostly whole on itself, so whatever. Uh, so that's down, left, down, right, up, right, down, right. Ooh, it's one of the longer ones. Gross. Okay. Uh, and then that leads right into 18. Or we're on the home stretch of this, I think. 40, 35 minutes in, we're nearly there. Which one did I say? 18. This one is a problem. This one is a gosh dang problem. Because even though it looks like the banner at the top is, oh no, never mind, never mind. I always get confused. Like I always think it's the banner at the top, but it's not. It's this little outline here with the little jag and the grid. This one's very clear at the very least. So, okay. So we're coming in from, actually wait, where are we coming in from? The left, okay. Uh, right, up, right, right, down. That goes down into 44. Almost there, almost there. And see now this one has the, the extremely faint jag on it. Which, this one in particular makes me go like, come on guys, you could have, could have maybe popped the contrast on this a little bit. But whatever, what do we know? Uh, so that's going to be a double down, and then uh, left, up, right, up, left. 
which goes left into 39. And I think we're going to be straight on through till 12 here. But we're not going to try to shortcut this, just in case we miss something. Um, and this one does this, which is great. So that goes then left, down, uh, left, up, left. into 12, which is going to be the linchpin to the rest of this. So, do 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 Now coming from the right, so that's left and down. And then the final down segment from uh, uh, I guess the exit at the bottom, huh? Possibly. Possibly. All right, so we've got it. We've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27. 27 squares. I guess that makes sense since we do revisit a couple of them a couple times. 27 squares plus the entrance and exit. That's a fucking lot of inputs. Um, all right, so now the next step is finding out where the f to do this. And my initial instinct was, as we were working on this the first time, um, was up at the mountain door. But what makes me rethink that is this little bit on page four. Uh, where the hell is it? I thought it was... It's wherever it was talking about the golden path and shit. Like, which one do you want? Which end game do you want? You want to fucking take place? You want to share your knowledge or whatever? It's... Oh, here we go. Uh, 46. Yeah, that's close to four. Um... Like, just this fucking pose here is like, oh, you want to be on a raised platform and do this somewhere, like, fucking important. Do this somewhere end y feeling. And sure, okay, fine. But where is there a platform that looks like that? I mean, this could be considered it right here. It's just two steps up to that. We go into the original little area. This is the hexagonal platforms, right? That's not. I mean, this is sort of end gamey, but not really. Doesn't look like that place at all. My other thought is going into ghost mode and uh, approaching the boss fight, but not going to it. Oh, also in between, we got uh, another full bip of health and another half bip of magic. So I uh, grinded up some some cash monies to, to do the rest of those. So let's go into weird teleport zone here. Because the way to the fight would be here. But I don't want to do that, right? Because that would be bad. But then here was, like... Here was the original prison that we let them out of. So it's just like, well, do we want to do it here? Because if we're going to do this, I want to not have to re-input it, like, a hundred billion times. It's already a long enough code. So, let's see. Which is the closest one that's going to get us to the mountains here? This one? Or maybe not, because it's... Eh, it's the interior of the Eastern Vault. We don't want to be in the Eastern Vault, though, do we? I think we want to come back here later for something else. If we're dealing with that second gold obelisk. For sure. But I don't think we want to be here. All right. Then, absent any other, like, 
truly stand out place where this long ass code is gonna go in. Let's head back to the mountain door. I think the easiest path there would be to take... Uh, actually, hold on a sec. Which one of these takes us to... in front of the temple rather than back at the beach? Page had this on. Here. Uh, town ruins, the one on the right. Not that it mattered, but the time I spent looking that up, I probably could have just gone to the beach and walked my ass back up to the temple. But okay. Town ruins. You know what? Quick checkpoint here, just in case. And then, get our butts back up the mountain. Do the little half K jog up to the mountain door and start putting this motherfucker in. And see what happens. Like, if it's... I... I hope... I hope. If this is actually the code, I hope that they, like, give you a little bit of feedback saying, Hey, buddy, you got, like, part of it right or something. Continue. And they don't wait for you to do the entire damn thing. And then just do the, the, the big whatevers at the end, right? So here we go. Up, up, left, left, down, left, up, left, left, down, left, up, right, up, up, right, up, left, up, right, right, down, right, up, left, up, up, left, up, right, up, up, left, 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 down, left, up, right, up, 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 left, up, right, down, right, right, down, right, up, right, down, down, left, down, right, right, up, up, right, right, down, halfway there, down, right, Right, up, up. I'm going to set the second one in there. Up, right, down, right. Right, up, right, right, down, left, down. Down, left, left, down, right. Right, down, down, right, down, left, left. Left, down, right, down. Down, left, down, right, up, right, down, right. Right, up, right, right, down. Down, down, left, up, right, up, left. Left, down, left, up, left. Left, down, down. It didn't do anything. So, this is, um, two options here, right? Well, three options, I guess. Um, one wrong place. Entirely possible, probably bordering on probable. Option two, incorrect code. Also entirely probable. So, So, so my other thought is that we fucked up the code in such a way that we're putting extra stuff in there, because honestly this feels like too long of a fucking code, um, and my guess on that would be we don't want to double up the transitions between squares. So, if we perhaps copy this code and take out the the dupes between them, which is why I segmented it like this, just in case this was a thing, um, let's get rid of the, the duplicates. Temporarily. Or copy it and do it this way. So, uh, up, up, left, left, down, left, up, left, down, da, 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 to that, that, that. That, that, oh, and maybe the indication is here that we did the whole segmented garbage, right? Or the, the little, the little bips in the path kind of split it up for us a little bit, so this might actually be correct. Um... 
I'm going to keep a little extra loot in there just in case. And that's that, that, that. Not that this is. Not that this is terribly uh, reducing the number of inputs for this code. But hail, who the fuck knows? And then just one down. So there's our new code. <laughs> our, our take three and a half code, essentially. Um, God damn. Hold on. I have something to ease the soul a bit because I have a feeling this still isn't going to work. But alright, here we go. Please don't let me lose track in the middle of this. Alright, up, down, left, up, left, down, left, up, right, up, right, up, left, up, right, down, right, up, left, up, left, up, right, up, up, left, left, down, left, up, right, up, up, left, up, right, down, right, down, right, up, right, that's line one. Down, left, down, right, up, right, right, down, right, up, up. Gonna keep the second one in there. Right, down, right, up, right, right, down, left, down, left, down, right, down, right, down, left, left, down, right, down, left, down, right, up, right, down. <gasps> Shit, I put up instead of down. Fuck. Oh, I fucked it up like two thirds of the way through. Oh, that annoys me. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, whatever. Brain got confused for a second. Okay. From the top. From the top. From the top. Up, down, left, up, left, down, left, up, right, up, right, up, left, up, right, down, right, up, left, up, left, up, right, up, up, left, left, down, left, up, right, up, up, left, up, right, down, right, down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right, up. Right, right, down, right, up, up, right, down, right, up, right, right, down, left, down, left, down, right, down, right, down, left, left, down, right, down, left, down, right, up, right, down, right, up, right, right, down, down, left, up, right, up, left, down, left, up, left, down. Oi. Shit. Okay, uh, well. Options are still it's wrong code or wrong place. Oh, I guess there's this third option. Um, because this has so much to do with the manual and we're missing the front and back cover, entirely possible that we need those two bits yet. And then that will be that. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Um, also, the theory that uh, 9 and 55 are still required. What makes me think 55 is not required is that I don't think there is a page 55. Because, uh... 55 to me seems like it would be the back cover. And, and maybe maybe the back cover is considered a page. Who knows, right? Um, and as for page 9... Let's look. Let's look again. Let's look again. Um... Like, there's lots of gold on here, right? But there's not an extremely clear path-like gold, right? A lot of writing. There's a bronze note, sticky note call out there, right? As the gold highlights on some of the menu stuff. Um... And just like, no, <laughs> it's just like, like even the fucking mountain door one, even our, the mountain door, our friend, the mountain door on page 50 had like, 
it's like here's, here's a little, little spark of gold for you uh and there 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 that was so a uh, foxman this one here you think a little gold dialogue box yeah Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. My thought is he's like going all question marky here, right? I think that has to do with this little bit on the save data. It's like, hey, question fucking mark? And my... My guess there is that actually, hold on a second. In fact, let's pop back to the file select screen and look. And be like, oh, data management question mark like what does that mean oh okay so it says we have 26 pages which you know tracks 52 or whatever um and it says you know we have this much monies we have this much pages here are our stats um seven health three stamina four magic uh, or no, seven, seven potions? I don't know what those first few numbers are, actually. Oh, one of those is number of little sprite soul bits. Um, so we got going on there. Load, delete, cancel. Yeah, there's nothing there, really. Oh, the hell? Uh... Excuse me, file four? Where did you come from? Uh... Okay. <laughs> well. Okay. <laughs> Alright, get, get, okay. Okay, okay. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Very clearly Golden Path, right? Extremely clearly Golden Path. Now... Okay, let's load in here. here. Here's my thought on this. This is where we start. Now, we need to take this path. It's not button inputs and shit, it's literally walking this path. So let's try it. Let's try it. Um, do we still get access to... Oh, we don't have all the pages, though. That upsets me a little bit. But maybe we find them along the way. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so we start at 12, right? And I believe 12 led off to the left. But... <sighs> I'm already kind of not liking this, though. I'm already not liking this idea. Also, we have like 20 bajillion monies. Why do we need more? And a coin somehow. And a... An hourglass? the hell does that do? Oh. Uh. Oh. Okay. 
Is our manual any different? <laughs> We don't have the page about the data management. That's interesting. And we don't have page 12. Oh, no, we do. We do. Man, this confuses the hell out of me. All right, so... Maybe we just follow this for a bit and see where it leads. Will you look at that? What does this mean, though? Okay, so it's got the little jags on the path. Again, but... And I think that just started us over. with this we didn't see this until like the sixth or seventh tile right but why I'm extremely confused Gives us some very like it gives us max stats. What is that? Five and a half bips of everything. It gives us an coin. Two of the presumably like sixteen to twenty charms, but only one slot. A shield, a lamp, not our fancy dash stuff. Only four potions. Not the hook shot. And it gives us an additional item that the, the, the timer, the, the little hourglass thing. Which... Why would this be? Why would that be useful? Why would that be useful? I wonder. Hey, Firetron. How you doing? Good to see you. And it's just looping on us. Which is bizarre. Well... And there's only exits at the top and the bottom. So, okay. Let's, um... Let's back this out. So bizarre. Like, this This is a good fucking switcheroo right here. Like, that's great. That's very clever. I like it. Um, presumably, there was no save in between, so this should go back to fresh, yeah? These pots should be back. They are not back. And my magic usage has been... Uh, preserved. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm gonna do something... Possibly ill advised. Yeah, okay, that reset it. All right. Okay. 
I can work with that. I can work with that. Um, so... Is this actually looping? I'm gonna cut those two, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna cut those two and see if we loop around and that those two still remain cut. Oh! Ah. Oh. The pots are at all of the... are at the intersection, or the, they're at the corners, they're like at the turns of the hallway, and they're also on the little perpendicular bit. That's intriguing. Okay. Now, does this loop around to the thing? It sure as fuck does. Interesting. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Boy, this is this is a mind fuck a little bit. So this is interesting that this one's kind of like half seas here, right? That's also half seas. Until you get to the perpendicular bit, then it's like then it kind of just repeats itself. Okay. Um So the initial bit in 12 was up and left. But how do we represent that in this particular thing? We just bust out this corner? Let's bust out that corner and then proceed. Okay, that's that's up and left, right? Didn't seem to do anything. Okay, maybe the maybe the pots are not significant. There's not enough of them to represent the path we worked out through the grid puzzle thing. Okay, what's the deal with this perpendicular section now? What? We don't have any bombs, do we? Got no bombs. Got no items besides this coin. Got all of our magic, well, not all of our magic items. We just got the, the ice magic dagger and the fire rod and the thing, the, the, the time whatever thing, right? We don't have our little teleport dash thing. Got a shield, we've got the sword. I wanna s say our clothing looks a little different? But I can't really tell. <laughs> can't really tell. Um, the bits of the manual we have still look the same. Hmm. 
don't think we saw... As we were evaluating the golden path, we didn't see something that looked like this room, right? This bit of corridor, the little thing, and... Yeah, because that's as far as it goes. This is very confusing to me. Like, wh what is... why? There's no exits to the left or to the right. Just up and down in that little jag mark in the middle. Huh. Is there anything obviously out of place here besides the fixed camera angle, this mark? that our magic and shit shoots through these walls. Does it shoot through all walls not guarded by this? Sure does. Okay, so that doesn't seem significant. Still got the stick. Stick might be made so it's easier to break one of these, two of these pots at a time. <laughs> Since it starts with an overhead, right? But even so, why would they make, would they make the pots significant? If they don't regenerate on room transitions, would they make the pots significant? My guess is no. So it was, what, a vertical column of three pots here, yeah? And then each of the corners has five. Well, actually, does this... Did that thing have five? I don't know. I think it did. Yeah, each of them has five alongside the path. We might have to let this one stew a bit. I can't get injured yet, so I can't use my health potions. Oh, wait. Um, the, the bomb, the bomb inputs. What were those? Does those still work here? Down, right, up, right, up, left, up, left, down, left, down, right. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay? Okay. Now what, though? What do we do with these three individual bombs we're gonna get? Besides hurt ourselves.
What's the other one? Firebomb. Right down, right up, right down, left. No? Left, up, right down, right up, right down, right up, right down, left. There we go. Okay. Here's a thought. What happens if we die here? Die. That's gonna take forever. Who knew having five and a half bips of health would be bad? What's gonna happen here, I wonder? Lose 20 bucks, as is tradition. Huh. Where the hell are we? Oh no, I just had a thought. This is the past. And in order to send stuff to our present selves, we need to shove it in the mailbox that should be around here somewhere probably. Okay. All right. You know, I'm I'm down with this. Cuz this looks like I mean shit's still busted as hell here, right? Except now this is looking a little bit more like the golden path. The the path we mapped out. Like there's it's a very narrow stuff. So, all right, let's let's look around a little bit. Oh, that doesn't go actually go in anywhere. That's intriguing. All right. So, we're going to have to like rotate our thinking a little bit, like 45 degrees or so. So, here's the start. Up left roughly thereabouts, I guess. I don't know how that dude survived there. Um, where's my actual thing here? To keep going left. Okay, maybe not. Damn. Can we? Okay, we can get hurt. I was like, did they just miss me on purpose? Up left. This is giving me tons of money and shit, but do I... Oh, this dude just doesn't care. That's... Intriguing. Okay. What in the hell is going on here? Okay, this is very... This is a very specific rock formation. OK. 
Okay, we still got the gimped up manual a little bit. Weird invisible wall here. There's a there's a well. Okay. There's like weird invisible collisions. It's like eerily quiet. Shit is kind of very rough. Limited sets of enemies. One is just straight up non responsive and non hittable. Oh, while well, he shimmies from corner to corner. It's a fucking almost a block pushing puzzle. Uh. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is very strange. There's no, like, screen transition entrances, so it seems. Everything is decidedly even lower poly. Our literal campfires. Yeah, this must be the past. Or some variant thereof. Maybe this is like an early prototype of the game or something? That they snuck in here? It... It's hard to tell if this is like an Easter egg type thing or if it's uh, actually critical to us figuring out a puzzle. It would help if we knew some of the language here, which we might need to start figuring out sooner rather than later. Switch. Or what this presumably would have been a switch, right? There, whoa, jeez, alright. <laughs> Let's just shove that dude out of bounds. Good job. Oh, there's a sword up there. I'm sorry, what the I, yeah, okay, yeah, we already have a sword, but, um, <clears throat> man, there's something just slightly off about this. Like, I don't want to dismiss this as some weird Easter egg thing, but it just, hmm, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to think about this. I don't think we can redo the bomb shit, can we? 
Maybe we can. Left down, right up, right down, right up, right down, right up, left. No. No, I guess not. Hmm. I don't want to dismiss this entire part out of hand. Like as just something that's not a not a thing or whatever. This feels too purposeful to be just a fun little Easter egg. But then again, we don't really know, do we? So it could very well just be a fun like, hey, here's an early prototype build from five years ago or whatever it was. Except, like, some of these enemies are, are f like full versions of themselves, like little tiny bouncing slimes or whatever. Well, that guy's non-responsive, alright. Oh, feels like we're getting to the edge of a... Oh, dang. Jumbo versions don't do anything. There's not anything really interactable here. Well, except we, there was the sword, right? There was the sword pickup. The edges of the world seem pretty rough. What is this exactly? I guess we're just gonna keep running around. Let's test the... Oh, it's an entirely... Oh, see ya. Okay. Yes, okay. That seems purposeful. Glitch-ass bridge. Excuse me. So the funny fairy soul spell thing doesn't do anything. They just kind of meander about and disappear. That's a pretty good indicator. There's nothing at least hidden around, right? Oh, jeez. Okay, see ya. Hmm. Maybe this is just like a, a weirdo prototype that they snuck in here. Man, I don't know what to think about this. Like, like if we if we dismiss it as just a fun little extra, then we go back and 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 work on the stuff that we know, like that there is a thing to, right? Which honestly wouldn't be a bad idea. But dang, I I I kind of want this to be something though. Like, it got weird. It got, it took a weird turn, and I was like, oh, hey, this is cool, and then if it turns out to just be, hey, this is an, an early build of it or whatever, I'll be like, oh, I was, I was kind of hoping for more. 
So okay, let's uh let's, let's let these dudes murder us for a bit. While we have a think. Because if this drops us back to the um the opening bridge in this area then I'd be pretty sure that this is not relevant to us for now. Oh, right, we got the... I took the checkpoint at the, <laughs> the campfire. Fuck! Uh... <laughs> well, hmm. Because I think we've really explored the extents of this area where it lets us go. Ow. Excuse me, sir. And we even flipped the coin, like... The fact that we got a coin, like they gave us a coin and then we flipped it into the well and it did its normal thing makes me think that there's, there's gotta be more to this than just... Just a fun little easter egg, but... I don't know, there's not enough here to... to say for sure. Oh, we were really onto something by dying in the in the golden path thing, though. Like that would have been that would have been a sick fucking secrety secret. Like, yeah, players will never never think of this. The players will never never think to use a, a weird fucking input command thing to get a free bomb and then burn themselves to death with it. Well, here we are. Hmm. Wasn't anything else further to the south, I don't think, right? It was just the opening bridge, and then that was it. Oh, we're out of, uh... Our potions didn't refill. That's interesting. Do we still have the bit of the manual that says how to do the potion one? No, that was on one of the other, um, one of the other pages. Why the hell? You know what, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna load back up our normal file for just a hot second. Looks like it kept everything. Looks like it saved it, right? Let me load this up. Let me look at this full ass manual now. I'm gonna write down the potion thing. Here. There's it. There it is. Uh, so that's down, right down, left. Up, right up. Yeah, so we didn't get it back. Do we don't get them refilled from a normal campfire thing, do we? No, we don't. So all right. Um, down, right, down, left, up, right, up. Oh, that, oh, I did refill them. Oh, and now they're different colors. Oh, because they're magic potions, not health potions. That's interesting. That's an interesting little twist. Huh. Well, that... Doesn't really make a whole hell of a lot of sense here, I guess. Down, right, down, left, up, right, up. Hmm. 
Ah, but it doesn't refill our potions. It it might just do a. Uh, I don't have. Do I have any way to get hurt here? Where's Where's the nearest enemy? Maybe that little potion spell thing is only a a heal. Ah, oh, crap! There's an enemy when you need one. Maybe it only does a heal this time, because in in our normal file it does a heal and it refills your potions. Okay, here, hit me. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see. Down, right, down, left, up, right, up. Yep, that did just heal me. Okay. Interesting. Okay, no. No, no, no. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> That just does the slow-mo shit, which I'm not sure if that does anything. Useful here. Do -do 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 we tried that. Got the stick, the fire, the full stats. Thing of a ding there. Hmm. Yeah, I think we leave this be for now then. Doesn't seem to be anything to do with this one yet. Okay. Seems weird that they give us a very unusual subset of manual pages here. Oh, does it show us on any sort of map here, I wonder? That would be weird. We've got the overworld map. East Forest map, Eastern Vault, whatever. Stone Day Tall. Fox Domain. I don't think our little icon showed up on any of these. Anything I would think it would show us on, like, near here. Let's go over to the... Clearly the Sealed Temple bit, right? No, nothing. Very curious. Well, that seems like an interesting diversion, but not terribly useful right now. Well, hold on a second, let me look at that icon one more time. This looks like it's the other magic item that the manual talks about here. Almost looks like it's got the same kind of outline to it. Like that could be the little question mark thing, that could be the, the hourglass. Is that terribly useful right now? Fuck if I know, but it does seem to match. Okay, so we're going to call this interesting, but not useful for now. And we're going to head back to our normal file. that materially affected anything else back here like which why would it why would it kind of cross effect files like that but who knows hmm it's very interesting okay so unfortunately all our attempts at the golden path have been a bust Even though we've got several iterations of it. <laughs> several iterations of the, the entire thing worked out. I'm actually going to remove this first iteration since it's a little bit less complete than the others. 
this is really like take four. All inputs across all squares. And then this one was uh, between tile inputs removed. But the rest of it is kind of just like, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this now. So we're just going to put a pin in that for now, too. The other bits, however, we can still work on. Uh, so... Oh, right. Since we're actually up in the mountains now... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, God. Yeah, it's too bright to really see if the spirit things are doing anything. I think they're just needlessly wandering. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty clear indicated, but there's nothing fantastically important up here. Or even marginally important. Yeah, that's not doing nothing though. But we are near the quarry, I guess. We can go take a, a quick quick poke down here since this area is now significantly smaller. Uh oh interesting. The things don't come out here, huh? Oh no, there they go. Oh, those are kind of... Huh. So they were... They were congregating here, huh? Yep, alright. So there's something here. But what? What could be important here? It's probably an input thing, so uh, let's check our manual. What do we got? This kind of looks... No, I guess it doesn't look like that. Never mind. Ugh, got the lighting on that. <laughs> uh, hard, to, hard to make out a little bit, but let's see. Is there anything quarry related in here? That's where we are. So we're way up at the top. What's the just the generic Holy Cross inputs? I should probably write that down too. The uh, reverse also holds true. Down right, up left, up right. Yeah. Down left, up right, up left. Yeah. So that's not it. Okay. Well, since we're in the quarry, anyways, let's have a look around. Might be other shit besides that one that might jump out at us. Can we go into the monastery? We can. Does it let us go anywhere in the monastery? It's the other question. Maybe, maybe not. Let's turn on our gas mask. Whatever. So we can look around without dying. I don't think this would cause anything, right? We've already it's already charged up and doing its thing. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Up left, up right, down right. There we go. Uh, may or 
may not be anything around here. Since this area is kind of limited too. Like we've got the the hero's grave, which is good and important that we got some one of our stats back here. But it might not be terribly important anymore. Other things do we have equipped? Not much else there. Okay. let us walk right through there. Oh, shit. Actually, now, that reminds me. Like, maybe if we have this thing on, we can just walk through all these roadblocks? Oh, man. That would make things a lot easier travel-wise if we could just do that. This one, they're going probably up to the top there anyways. Oh, my curiosity is a little bit peaked here. I wonder if we can get into East Forest or whatever. Whatever major area transitions might have been blocked off now. If we just keep this thing on. But okay, we know there's something... Let me write this down, actually. Um, other very soul things. Quarry. Top of... Uh, above Monastery. If we ever figure out what the inputs are for these, we can come back and, and try it and get something. Probably money. But hey, money be money, right? Um, actually now, I'm curious if there's a walk behind there. Sure is. Okay, yep, yeah, that's how you get up here. This lead into the kind of side bit. Yeah. But does this lead anywhere? <laughs> sure doesn't seem like it. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. So then it seems like this little very, very tiny quarry area doesn't do anything for us now. At least not except for that one bit up top. But... Don't know what the input code is for that, so we'll leave it be for now. Although... Oh wait, now I kind of see it, actually. Well, I think I see it, maybe. Because it looks like that might be the starting point. So up, right, down... Uh, actually, where do we need to be standing for this? Let's stand here. Up, right, down, left, up, right, up, left, down, left, up, right, up. Or maybe it's the other way around. Uh, left, down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right, up, left, down. Standing in the wrong spot for it to trigger. Like, this seems very... Like, extremely constructed specifically for this. Left, up, right, up, left, down, left, up, right. Like, see, the problem is I don't know what to do once I get to this one. Because it doesn't connect to anything else. I thought that would... Oh, maybe it's right over here. And then down. Okay, yep, I see it. Up, right, down, left, up, right, up, left, down, left, up, right, right, down. There we go. Okay, uh, that's another gold one. Okay. Oh, no, it's another soul. Excellent. Which one is that considered? <laughs> uh, eh. I guess the third one on that list there. Oh, except, yeah, there's six of them now. Okay. All right, well, we don't need to come back here. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. Uh, 
Mountain door continues to elude us. Unless it too has like an obvious environmental directional input thing going on. Which it doesn't seem to. Unless. Maybe I could pull a fast one and, and just teleport across the gap there. That would have been something. But no, they don't let you do that. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine, I guess. But and we don't have a map for this area, do we? Like one of the few maps they don't give us is the mountain. West Garden, Overworld, Under the Well, Eastern Vault, Ruined Atoll, Frog's Domain, Quarry Swamp, Cathedral. And then bleh, 41. The hell's on 41. Ah, the teleport map. Right. Hmm. Yeah, this one doesn't have an extremely obvious environmental looking input code thing. So alright. We will we will leave the mountain door to itself there. Old ass motherfucker. Maybe just have a look around the mountain in general. If there's uh, anything else obvious around here? Which there doesn't seem to be. I would hope, like, an area where they are making it very visually difficult to parse that they wouldn't try to pull some weird shenanigans. They saved all their visual shenanigans for the Golden Path puzzle. Yeah, okay. Well... The one thing that we know we can probably piece together right now is the Golden Obelisk from last time. The busted up one in the East Forest. Because I think we have... Oh, goodness. I think we have all of the parts. We just need to stitch them together. So I found the five different parts kind of strewn in the ocean and whatever. Uh, let me actually pull up my list of them. But I don't think they are laid out in such a way that it's obvious how they go together. Here we go. Let me just... Take a quick spin through these once. Because there's definitely a, an input code path on them, but... It's going to require, I think, some graphics program shit <laughs> for me to understand what the hell the path is actually on these things. So that might be a, a thing for next time that I will suss out in between. Yeah. But I think we do have all the pieces of it. So that's a thing for later. Um... So we can do more kind of soul check things here. See what else this leads us to. This one we already did, I think. We got another page of the manual from here. I think those are floating over to wherever, so we're, we're no good there. I don't know where those are actually going. Oh, right, I wanted to see if we could just kind of step through that stuff with our gas mask on now. Uh, no, and in fact, it's still 
reduces my health. That's some strong ass purple goop, tell you what. We did find this other thing, kind of in between things as well. Um, this is where all the little freed soul sprite things happen. And there was another gold thing here because the pattern is very obviously on the wall. That took a bit to suss out though. It's just like, dang, this is weird ass angles we gotta deal with. Um, but that was cool. That was neat and fun. Oops. Uh, so where's this gonna be telling us to go now, though? Oh, I think this was leading, uh, either in the doors or slightly thereabouts. And these just were kind of floating around. But we can check our stash here. Only five. Five of the twelve. That's alright. That's some good progress. <laughs> Right, there's also this in here, which I wasn't quite sure what to do with. It's just like a void. Just an expanse of nothing. No visual clues as to what this is. And it actually, it may, may very well have been like a, a shop or something. Like the weird, huge ghost fox thing. Which we bought a thing from and then he disappeared because we bought it all his shit or something. Uh, where are we even? Uh, we're kind of behind the sealed temple area there, but... Eh. How much money we got? 145 buckos. Not much. Oh, right, because this is behind the old house, actually, right? Yeah. We don't have another coin to toss in here, right? Because that last coin we tossed was on the weird save file thing. Alright. Getting around here. I think this was the indicator to, to blow this open. And this had a weird gold cube in it. Which, uh, fuck if I know what this means. Because it does a fixed rotation. Does four counterclockwise and then four kind of pitch over. Two. Oh, actually, no, that's not a fixed rotation. That's interesting. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, one. Okay, so it goes four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. But it's always the same sequence of directions. Like it does the counter counterclockwise and then the kind of the pitch forward. And then there's weird audio shit going on. So who knows if that's related. That seems like a regular repeating sequence, too. I 
Try to get me worked on the audio for this game. Yeah, yeah. Power Up Audio was definitely involved in this. <laughs> Record and put it in a spectrogram. <laughs> they would do that. They, yep, they definitely would do something like that, wouldn't they? So, uh... I mean, yeah, that's definitely a thing we could attempt to do, but... Man, fuck if I've got the skill and the patience to, to suss that one out. One, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, one. It's definitely something here. So, at this point, we've done enough of these little sparkly doodads that the solution here is an input code of some description. Now, which code in particular that's going to be, who the f knows? Because where the hell are we even right now? We're kind of in this little sort of spirally staircase areas, right? Just south of the old house. Uh, do we have any more specific overworld pages that have something written on them? Oh, it's the ruined atoll, frog's domain, telling me about the quarry, cathedral, ghost town, swamp, USA, whatever. Uh, this is the Holy Cross, right? That's the beginning of our input adventure stuff. Presumably telling us about our fairy soul friend things. Six of, looks like 20 in total, Jesus. Man, I don't even know where there are 14 spots left like this to do. Plus we've got the, the gold shit too. Like the golden fancy whatever's. Fucking door in the mountains. And there's a couple written down here as well. Like the bottom right and then the left center one there. We've got those, but... And then whatever that bottom center one is, like I... Damn it. <laughs> Damn this cryptic language. May as well be English. <laughs> uh, fuck. Hmm. I don't think there's any, there's probably nothing super obvious in the manual anymore. Plumbed its secrets many times over. Still missing the front and back covers, though. Uh, 
Although, although it would be a good place to start when, when and or if we uh, start decrypting this. I won't rest in the your theory about page 55 be validated. Right? Yeah, I don't know if that... Like, it seems weird, right? Like, the whole thing on page 9 is weird, but I... Like, I'm hesitant to associate this with the Golden Path. I really am. Because there's no, like, it just gave us that weird save file, sure, and it gave us that kind of weird top-down thing and the, what looked to be a prototype. But I don't know, man. I really don't know. If you look at the golden page in page 9, did it end up going up? Uh, hold on a second. It does, it does go up. Like, it did that weird little jog thing. Like, it started us at the bottom. It up, left, up, right, segment, right, up, left, up. I think it was what it was. And it, go, and it does that, but... But I don't know how that... How that's going to translate for us here. So if we go back and look at 20, or, or not 20, 12, the, uh, the start of it, right? We started here, but, and we, we just kind of made the assumption that the, this golden square was the thing, right? But... And here's the thing, right? If our very end sequence... If our very end sequence, uh, from whatever number that was, right? Uh, here, if our end sequence from 39, we, we left from 39, approaches the right at 12, right? If we take the blue out of this, then that leads up. Then that would lead up to 55. Which would make a lot of sense. But that's where we're stymied for now. <laughs> because we don't have a 55. Unfortunately. So if that's the case. And that's a really good thought too. It really is. Um, once we get that far. That's it. That's really it. But knowing, like, that, that's... I'm glad you said something about it, too, actually. So we're going to take another copy of this. And this will... We'll just call it take five. <laughs> um, so if we assume, then, it's from... Uh, left out of 39 into 12. Then it goes left and then up. And then that goes to 9, which, if my visual memory serves, was up left, up, double right because of the weird little jag in the middle, up, left, up, into, uh, what the, yeah, there, into 55, which is a big old fucking, huh? Because, <laughs> all right, sorry, up, left, up, double right. Stupid autocorrect. Like, this is... This fucking text editor's autocorrect is extremely aggressive, and I don't like it. Uh, right, right, up, left, up. Which gets us to 55 in a big ol' fucking shrug. Um, unless, like, that's the, the end of it. That could be the end of it, too. Like, 55 might be just a dead stop, and whatever so that might be worth a try at the very end of tonight which we are approaching um and if it is a, if it's a dead stop at 55 this input sequence might give us page 55 
which would be interesting. So we're going to do that. And then if once we're tired of running around for tonight, we'll go back to the mountain door and put this in one last time <laughs> and see if that does it. And if it doesn't shrug, nothing lost. But, uh, you know, okay, we'll, we'll skip this bit for now. I'm going to write this one down where it is though. So we don't forget to go back. Um, this is, uh, overworld, right spiral, stair, bomb door. I'll know what that means, maybe. We've got that. Let's see if we can find anything else. Nothing in this dingy ass storeroom. Uh, I think that leads to an entrance down there underneath the the thing. I forget what that actually went to. Yeah. Oh, this might be the weird... Oh no! See, we already got this one. Dang it, I wish once we already had something they would stop. Although this had a... If we didn't... We could have gotten this a lot earlier if we didn't have the teleport by just kind of meandering our way around, right? Because I think a long time ago we had seen one of those weird, like, sword wielding dudes walking around in a blank room in a very specific pattern and i think it was the pattern to get this thing so that might already have been the hint for it but now with the teleport shit we can just go and we're there and so we did a while ago <laughs> well not a while ago but so that one's taken care of we think Oh, there's another one underneath there. Although, I don't know how I get down there. Oh, actually no, I do know how I get down there. There's a small path behind. Yeah. There's a thing in here? I thought there was a chest behind there too that we had already picked up. Okay, yeah, there's an entrance here. Oh, right, yeah. I had seen this in between other things, and this, it's very clearly a path there, but my goodness, the rotation is, oh god. So, let me write this one down, just in case we don't figure it out. Um, this is Overworld, uh, under path to Atoll. Under path bridge to Atoll, we'll call it. So this is very clearly, like, right on the walls, but the, the problem with this is the orientation, like, where... What's the rotation of this, of these lights on the wall that tells me, hey, start here and go up, down, left, right? Because <laughs> we know the start is that little splotch that's coming around here. But I guess at the, we could probably suss out the directions and then just do the, the four variants of it <laughs> to see which one is right. That feels like really brute forcey on this though. So, like, I don't even know. See now, if we had the, the hourglass from the weird save file, this, that would actually be kind of helpful here. But I have a feeling it's not going to be that easy. So, um, so what I'm watching right now, from my perspective, is essentially the wall right across from where we're standing. 
Like that's the flattest, largest bit we can see this rotating on. I have to wait for it to come around again because I've already kind of lost the trail. And if we take if we take the starting orientation as when it's pointing straight up, we can try to bend our minds around the rest. So down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right. Down. Left, down, right. I don't know. I, I lost the, the first part of that. But I got the last four. Down, left, down, right is essentially that. So we've got down, right, up, right, down. Down, right, up, right, down. Got the first five there. I'll have to wait for it to cycle around again because my mind is a little shot. Okay, so down, right, up, right, right, down, left, left, down, right, down, left, down, right, down, I think. Which I think is the opener there, so I think we've got the entirety of it, so down, right, up, right, down, left. Down, right, down, left, down, right. So now comes the bits of, oh, rotate it and see what happens. So I could whip up a quick graphic to, to help this out here. Or we could try just to... Let's try to kind of take it a few more cycles and see what happens. Down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right, down, left. Ah, see, I lost it. I, I Like, I lose it about two-thirds of the way through, because I'm trying to rotate this stuff in my head a little bit, too, and it's just like, dude, don't be thinking about this this late at night. All right. Wait for it to cycle around again. Okay. Down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right, down, left okay okay down right up right down left down right down left up left down no, that doesn't seem to track either. Let's try it again. Down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right, down, left, down, left, up, left, down. Okay, I might have just fucked up the end. Up, left, down. Let's try that. Down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right, up, left, down. Damn. Down, left, down, right, up, left, down. Okay, I think I fucked up the end of it. Like, as soon as we make a full rotation, it's, it's, my brain gives up. Down, right, up, right, down. Left, down, right, 
down, left, up, left, down. Okay, I think that sequence is correct. We just might need to rotate it a bit. So what's going to happen here? What's going to happen? Let's try to spatial reasoning ourselves out of this one. Or let's actually no, let's trace it one more time. I want to make sure I have the number of inputs right. Because if that's right, we might be on the right track. I'm going to get back around to normal here. Normal. Because uh, I've got, looks like, 11 inputs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's more than I have written down, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm missing two? Come on. All right. Down, right, up, right. Down, left. So we've got up to, we've got six there to down, left. Wait for it to come around again. Okay, down, right, up, right, big slide there, down, left, down, down, right, up, right, down, right, up, right. Down, right, up, right, so I was right on those. And then we'll catch the last ones on this cycle. Down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right, up, right, down, down, right, up. Is that 13? That is 13. Okay, so I think that's the right number, at least. Down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right, up, right, down, right, up. Okay. Right number of inputs, probably the wrong rotation of it. So, okay. That's fine. And how is this rotating? This is rotating counterclockwise, yeah? So down becomes right. Down becomes right. Right becomes up. Down becomes right. Right becomes up. Up becomes left. And left becomes down. <laughs> this is... Honestly, this is a, it's a simple rotation, but it's just like ah. Uh, um, so down becomes right, right becomes up, up becomes left. Becomes left, and left becomes down, right? Left becomes up. Okay, there. Now we've got it. Uh, right becomes up, up becomes left, right becomes up, down becomes right, right becomes up, and up becomes left. Okay, there's one rotation. that one okay and then I guess we just keep applying that right right becomes up up becomes left left becomes down up becomes left 
right becomes right becomes up, right? Yeah. Up becomes left. Right becomes up. Up becomes left. Wait, did I fuck up the initial transform? Oh, God, this is such a... It's too, almost too simple for my brain to, to comprehend at the moment. All right, let me try this then. Um... Uh, this one more time. It's initially down, and then it becomes right. It becomes right. Okay, so down, down becomes right. Right becomes up. Up becomes left. Left becomes down. Yeah, I did fuck up the translation there. That's what it was. Alright, right up, left, up, right, down, right, up, left, up, right, up, left. Nope. Okay. Another transform on it. Uh, right becomes up. Becomes left. comes down, up is left, right is up, down is right, yeah, down is right, right is up, up is left, left is down, up is left, right is up, up is left, left is down. Down, left, up, right, up, left, down, left, up, left, down. Then, of course, it's got to be the, the opposite. The exact opposite and the last fucking rotation. Go figure, huh? Assuming I'm doing those ro these rotations correctly, which is probably a bad assumption, but hey, that's what it is. You can always examine it again just to be sure. All right, so it becomes left... Left becomes down, down is right, left is down, up is left, right is, what's right? <laughs> right is up, uh, up is left, left is down, down is right, left is down, up is left. Left is down, down is right. Okay, here's the last sequence of it. Left, down, right, down, left, up, left, down, right, down, left, down, right. That wasn't it either. That that kind of annoys me. That makes me think that either I've got the initial one incorrect, or I did all the, the rotation transforms incorrect, either of which is plausible. Either of which is extremely plausible. Let's see if I've got the initial one correct. Uh, down, right, up, right, down, left. Down, right, up, right, down, left. Like. It got the first six is fine. Again, I think. Down, right, up, right, down, left. Down, right, up, right. Down, left. Down, right, down, left. Down, right, down, left. Up, left, down. I 
fucked up the last three. It's up, left, down. I think it's up, left, down. Just in case. I think I was correct the first time that I was up, left, down. So, down, right, up. Oops. Yeah. Down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right, up, right, up. Up, left, down. Wait, is that last sequence correct? Double check again. Down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right, down. Okay, I already, I already lost it. First six are pretty sure, right? Down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right, down, left, up, left, down. Up, left, down is the correct finisher there. So then we just gotta adjust the rest of them. Right up, left up, right down, right up, left up, left down, right. Why, why would we want this to be easy? Or, up, left, down, left, up, right, up, left, down, left, down, right, up. Always the last transform, isn't it? Left down, right down, left up, left down, right down, right up, left. That wasn't any of them. Am I? I must be just an idiot. Or I'm very tired. <laughs> or I'm very tired. And I cannot enter these properly. Or I'm entering them too slow. It's very probable. Down, right, down, left, up, left, down, right, down, right. Okay. Down, right, up becomes right, up, left. So those, like, the, the rotation of this seems right. I must have just the wrong source inputs. Like, that's gotta be, that's gotta be it. So let's look at this a couple more times, and then it's honestly getting late enough where my brain is screaming at me, stop doing this, idiot. <laughs> Why do you hate me? Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna be fucking seeing this rotating thing in my sleep, I bet. It's gonna elude me there. Alright. Down, right, up, right, down, left. Down, right, up, right, down, left. Okay. Like, I'm pretty confident about the first six. Pretty damn confident about those. 
pretty confident. Okay, so down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right, down, right, down, left, up, down, down, right, down, left, up, down. I did get the initial sequence incorrect. Oops, that's... Hold on a second. Let's look at that one more time, because I think I already fucked it up. In the two seconds it took me to, to shift my eyes over to my notes, I fucked it up. That's how bad this is becoming. All right. Down, right, up... Right, down, left. Then it becomes down, right, down, left. Up, left, down. Down, right, down, left, up, left, down. Down, right, down, left, up, left, down. That's why, because I'm an idiot. All right, up, right, down, left, down, right, down, left, up, left, down. Fucking, and it's the first one without having to do the rotation. Cool. <laughs> hey, we saved another one. Cool. We're we're good. We're good at this. <laughs> ah, shit. This fucking game, man. Messing with my head. Alright, will they still, like, try to lure me over there? Oh no, see, now they don't go in there. That's intriguing. Now they don't go for that obvious spot, so... Hold up a second. Wait a minute. Wait just a fucking hot minute here. That means that whatever one we were in earlier... And they still were congregating around. I thought they would just be like, yeah, go go in this hole and then whatever. No, they're still congregating here, which is an interesting thought. So. Wait. Uh, 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 uh. Oops. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, come on. There. They're still congregating here. That's interesting. Is this a, a secret within a secret? Oh, don't tell me they're doing this to me now, huh? All right. That, you know what? That's fine. Like, this is a pretty not unclear path to be following anyways. So, okay. Um, we've got up, left. So, starting in here, right? Up, left. Down, left, up. Right. Down, right, up, right. Right, down, right, up, right. Down, left, up, left, up. Down, left, up, left, up. Okay. Up, left, down, left, up, right, down, right, up, right, down, left, up, left, up. Oh, they did put a secret in a secret. You a-holes. <laughs> okay. Well done, I guess. Fucking hell. I guess that does track. So now there's no more there, right? 
Okay, yeah, they're leaving that spot alone now. Ugh. Ah, and now they're going for the weird rotating gold cube thing. Ugh. No, I don't want to do that one right now. Wasn't there one right outside the temple here? Or possibly just inside, who knows. Or, I guess that was kind of awkwardly placed. Was it inside the temple? Oh, right! I did, yeah, I did find this one, but I wasn't quite sure what the fuck to do with it. What the hell am I keying this in just incorrectly? Up, left, up, right, down, right. There we go. Yeah, because there's one in here. There's one in here, and it, like, the path isn't entirely n unobvious, but it's just a matter of, hey, where the fuck is the start point? And, uh... <laughs> and what to do about it, you know? But if we kind of make the assumption that the path on the floor is it, right? So if I go left, down, down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right, down, right, up, right, up, left, up, right, up, left, up, right, down, right, up, up, left. Like, I don't... If I could see behind this damn set of statues, like, just give me, give me a 10 degree rotation so I can see behind there. No, they're not going to let me do that, so... You know, fixed camera angles are cool and all, but there's definitely certain shit where it's frustrating. And this is one of those cases. There's just a little tiny bit more that I want to see, and they're not letting me see it. Oh, okay. I was starting from the wrong spot. I started from the top. I was supposed to start from the bottom of that path. Cool. Good. Good. All right. All right, where are you headed to now? All the way the fuck over there. Where the hell are you going? Hold on, let me get over there. Oh, literally here. Okay, oh, I see, yep. Flower patterns. Oh shit, actually. <laughs> Thought I had it for a moment. All right, up, left, down, left. Down, down, left, up, right, down, right, right. Wow, okay, no. Oh, okay, I, I was lining this up incorrectly. So up, left, down, left, down, left, down, left, up, right, down, right, right, down, right. There we go. Yikes. Neat. Cool. Uh, can we walk through this? Nope. Okay. Never mind. Having this on is kind of worthless then. Worthless. A charm slot for worthless Garbo. Actually, now since that's kind of the dagger thing. Oh, does that make the dagger faster? 
Seems like that makes the dagger faster. Yeah, that makes the dagger faster. Alright, well that's kind of worthless since we don't use the dagger very much at all. I don't know what that one is. It's like something something ash or whatever. I guess we'll leave it on for now. Oh, that changes our health potions to magic potions. Uh, that's actually quite handy to rotate those, isn't it? Because now I can swap that off to, I don't know, literally anything else and do the, the magic potion thing, which is, um, do, 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 where is that? Get rid of that since we're done with it. Uh, bomb door is the weird gold cube thing. Uh, potion. Down, right, down, left, up, right, up. Oh, no, that... Oh, I thought that refilled my potions. It doesn't. It only refills my health. And costs like a bip of magic. Do. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, okay. <laughs> Where are you blazing a trail off to now? Right here. As if there's a thing I can do there. On the ladder, of all places. Um, excuse me? Oh, it's behind the... Never mind. Okay, this, is, this looks like another secret within a secret type thing, because we already opened a chest here. Oh, that's going off into Nowheresville. Oh, here's the weird walkie dude. Damn it. I don't know if I have the patience for this right now. Let's write down what this is at least. Um, so this is Overworld. Past Temple, right path behind Waterfall. This is, uh, enemy walking path. I don't know if I have the patience to sit through this one. So I think it takes him like a good solid minute to make this path. So that's okay. I guess we can sit through it once and see what happens. So let's assume that's the start. Because we get a little chime there. So there's down. Down, right, up, okay, this down, down, right, up, right, down, left, right, down, left, down. Oops. Down, down, right up, right down, left down. Right. Up. Right up, right down. Right up, right down. down right up down down right up right down down okay do i need to okay i can just enter it in right here maybe let's see and maybe the double walk doesn't have to happen here down down right up right down left down right up right down down oh no oh, there it was never mind that was a lot easier than i would have expected Sick. Okay. 
At this rate, it's going to be down to that damn gold cube one. Wait, there's no others in here, is there? Okay, you're not going to pull a triple secrety secret on me, are you? No, good. Wait, where are you going? Oh my god, they're going all the way to the south. Oh, except don't go across to the weird gold cube. No, stop it. I don't want to do that one. Hopefully that's not going to be the one they're trying to needle me on here. How far away do I have to get before they say, hey, maybe he doesn't want to do that one. Excellent. Ah, there's one here. All right. This looks like it's repeating symbols. Like, there's only four symbols here, so four directions, right? Which might give us a pretty good head start on the language. If we figure out which symbol means what. So, we could really just make it four, <laughs> we could brute force the four different, uh, four different variants of it, right? So why don't we just do, I don't know, up, down, left, right. Oops. God, this stupid autocorrect. Up, down, left, right. Uh... All right, left, down, up. Right, down, left, up. And right, left, down, up. Okay, not the correct symbol. <laughs> not the correct, uh, probably not the correct substitution. That's fine. But, pretty easy, just, uh, can only be four different variations, right? That one either. Of course, this like this kind of easy substitution stuff is always the always the hardest to do. So 
left, right, up, down. Right. All rights become downs. All lefts become ups. All downs become rights. There. Oops, I fucked up the, in the inputs there. Okay. It's all four variations of it, so I probably did not quite understand. That looks like a bomb of a wall if ever I've seen one. Hold up a second. Ah, oh, nuts. That looked pretty suspicious nestled between two rocks. Uh, okay. Um, so if brute forcing the substitutions on this didn't do it, Maybe we'll leave this one for next time. Alright, yeah, I think we will call it right there. And maybe open up this weirdo file one more time just to kind of look at it and scratch our heads and go, what the hell is this? <laughs> so bizarre. What a bizarre little thing. Oops. Uh, what a bizarre little thing. Okay, serious this time. Let's be done. <laughs> Oh, actually, no. Before we're done, I want to check one more thing. Sorry. Um, let's see the, the list of all these things we have now retrieved. Dang. We over halfway there. That's kind of wild, actually. Um... Probably should have noted which one was which at some of the weird symbol ones, so I could have tried to suss it out. Yeah, these are all the weird fairy soul things we've unlocked so far, and it looks like there's 20 of them, and we have 12. Not bad. Not bad at all. Almost certainly one's going to be at the golden cube puzzle, which sucks ass, but hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> Try to figure that one out at some other time. Alright. I just wanted to check to see how many we had. Okay. That'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow night, 7.30pm CDT. Mishmup Book Club. So, Dodonpachi, or Kingdom Grand Prix, or Strania. Friday we're off. Saturday we're off. Sunday, 7pm CDT, be long play. Uh, not sure what that's going to be, honestly. Um, might be Zero Ranger, might be something else, who knows? 
Uh, and then next Monday, I guess we'll be coming back to Tunic for next week as well. Uh, there's still plenty of other puzzles that we can do. Uh, well, that we can find and then possibly do after the fact. Uh, and we still got that whole gold path thing to work out and the weirdness of file number four and probably whatever else we find really. But hey, this is cool. This is good. We did all the exploration shit. We did the combat. Now it's down to the puzzles. <laughs> and also some more exploration. And probably more combat. Who knows? Lots of everything. Lots of everything. But that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.